It's Monday. This is Maddie Mae here, back with a new video. Um, for those of you who are new, um, I'm Maddie Mae. I go to the University of Tennessee, and I major in narrative medicine uh, on a pre-med track. So, that's me, but I just woke up and went to a yoga class. It's Monday at 9.09 a.m. I still have my phone on like the red light mode because good for your eyes in the morning and at night. Well, my day is already not going how I planned it because I was gonna go right to the library after my yoga class because I have to upload a video and do a few like school stuff, but it's really raining outside and I'm kind of parked far away from the library. So I think I'm just gonna go home and my room's messy, so I was gonna clean that later today, but I'm gonna go ahead and clean that now and um, maybe get some of that work done at my house instead. I'm really glad you guys are here. My last week of my life um, seems to have got a lot of new people, so if you're new here, I'm really glad that you're here. For now, let us go home. Also, I wanna show you guys I'm a huge breakfast person. As you guys saw, I had a little bit of oatmeal. That is not enough for a breakfast girl, so I'm gonna eat this Go Macro bar. Guys, first I have to fold all of this. It's clean laundry and it finally needs to get done. So I'm gonna do that now. Done. All right, you guys, let me turn this music off. Okay. On Sunday, I made a list of the things I wanna get done today. So let's look at that together. Um, I made kind of a more organized like template than my one last week last week I just wrote Monday Tuesday I'm still kind of getting used to this iPad and like how I can most efficiently use it But I made this little template and I filled in some things for the week Usually I put big assignments on my Google Calendar and like work stuff and then like those assignments plus like little things on this to-do list so today I did go to yoga. I just finished my BCMB homework and I emailed it. I want to study at the library today. Um, and then I have to work on my medical terminology class. That's like an online class. It's not on that to-do list, but I do have to finish some text slides for a video that I'm posting today. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that here so I can kill some time and get a little more hungry and once I finish doing that I will eat some lunch so I'm like full so I can spend like the rest of the day at the library. All right let's get some movie editor magic going. <laughs> Alright you guys, I just finished all of the texts and I just made the thumbnail for the video and sent it to my computer. So now it's ready to be uploaded and I am hungry. So I'm going to go downstairs and make some lunch and then head to the library. <laughs> Hi guys, I just got back from the library. It's 527 right now. I actually stopped and got a burrito because um, I have nothing in my pantry, but I get paid tomorrow, so I'm gonna go shopping or grocery shopping tomorrow. I need to make that list tonight, but I'm starving, so that's why I'm talking fast and sound anxious because I'm just low blood sugar right now. <laughs> I'm gonna eat that burrito, watch an episode of You, and then I have a few practice quizzes to take. But overall, it's been a really good day. Watched you board an airplane, hide that from the summer's heat wave. 
All right, you guys, I just finished my quizzes and took a shower, um, but I am changing my pillowcase now. I try to change it every week, just because I think it helps my acne, and also it helps my hair not get greasy very fast. So I've also been taking these Calm Gummies at night, but I think they help me sleep because I tend to get the most anxious at night, and I can't get it to focus, but they also taste really good too, so. You guys, I just finished this book. Um, I really meant to finish it like two weeks ago, but last week got really busy. But I just read like six or seven chapters and finished it. And it was so good. If you guys are looking for a book to read, please read Educated by Tara Westover. It's amazing. Now is something I really like doing, and it's picking out my next book. So down here I have like um, a lot a lot of books. Um, pretty much all of these are red except these two. So it's between Park Avenue Summer, which I've heard really good things about from Katie Bellotti. She's another YouTuber, but she has a book highlight on Instagram and like all of her followers have um, posted and she has reposted like how much people love this one. So I bought this one at Half Price Books, but this one I'm really excited about. It's a crime book, um, and I've read some of Joe Hill's stuff, and it was really, really good. Um, and it's about, like, kidnapping, and I kind of just haven't read, like, a solid crime book in a while, so I'm leaning more towards this one. So, time to put a new book on the bedside table! But I am read out tonight, so I think I'm gonna watch an episode of You and then go to sleep. But now, I can move this one over here! That's how it works, you guys. guys it's Tuesday I have a day long of class today I should be done by four I feel myself getting a little bit sick so I'm gonna be drinking this like Trader Joe's immune support drink for the morning um but yeah I just got ready took my vitamins I think I'm gonna go downstairs now get that drink and head to school I like to get to school kind of early a so I get a good parking spot and B so i can flip through flashcards um before class starts so that's my plan right now but i'm feeling good i tell myself you don't mean nothing i'm what we got got no hold on me what's up you guys it's like four ish no it's not yeah it is it's actually 356 okay so it's like four ish I just got out of all my classes for the day and went grocery shopping, so I'm going to show you guys what I got. Alright, the lighting's kind of whack, but I got these um, mesquite smoked seasoned almonds because um, the regular brand of these, like the name brand or whatever, um, are really, really, really good and they're vegan, and I didn't know that Trader Joe's had a version of them. and. They were really cheap too, so I'm gonna be eating those. I got like a drinkable apple cider vinegar just to drink because I feel like I might be getting sick. I love this vegan tikka masala that Trader Joe's has. It's awesome on Wednesdays when I work in the office all day. It's like a take it, take my lunch to school with me type of lunch. I got broccoli because I make tofu, broccoli, and rice pretty much every week. And for that, I got some teriyaki flavor baked tofu and I also got some regular tofu because I do just like tofu a lot. Um, I got some medjool dates so I can put some peanut butter on them, put it in the fridge and eat it as a snack. It's an excellent snack. And then three bars for my backpack. And then I got another, some more of this teriyaki soyaki sauce from Trader Joe's for that broccoli rice meal I make, and then some roasted potatoes. I bought chips, which is really not what a 2020 May would do, but, you know, I was really hungry. As you can see, I already opened them. I was starving, so I just bought them impulse buy, but for the most part, it's pretty healthy stuff, so that's good. 
Um, but now I'm gonna make one of these meals or eat something and then put on some different clothes and probably go study. So that's my plan, but I'm having a good day. I'm not seizing the moment for affection chance So I bask in the attraction of the connection Romance my soul dances to the rhythms of your heart I like the b-boy and the emotion that has now driven my heart to keep me Fun fact, I actually have permanent bruises on my shins from making my bed every day Because I always like lean over the bed And my shins hit the wooden part Yep Wednesdays I work all day in the office. Um, for those of you that are new, I'm the filmmaker for the school. So I make the videos that go on social media. Um, but I'm kind of in a rush, so I don't really have time to talk. I need to eat breakfast and pack my lunch for the day. So I'm gonna go do that. Say hi. Hi. I wanted, I feel like, cause sometimes I include um, sometimes I include clips of me at work yeah. and I just don't want people to think that I work alone. No. So I make the films and she does, you want to explain? I write stories about student life mm -hmm. um, in order to promote student life. And she like also like runs the social media yes. and posts stuff and makes graphics for the Instagram and stuff. And too. Yes. I, thank you for reminding me. She's like, she's like, I have something to do now. <laughs> What's up you guys? So it's way later. I don't remember the last time I checked in, but same update, different week. Um, it's Wednesday night, which means it is near to medicine club time. My friend Maggie and I started a club last semester and it's called Narrative Medicine Club. I just wrote it on the board. Yeah, so uh, the club starts at seven. It's just now six, but I have a class that ends at like 5.45 and so it's just smart for me to just come over here um, and get ready for the meeting and wait an hour then like go home or anything. But once Maggie gets here, we'll go over our notes for the meeting tonight. Tonight we're watching a movie. This is all information you don't care about, but <laughs> we're watching a movie about Henrietta Lacks. If you guys don't know who she is, you really need to look her up. They figured out chemotherapy because of her cells and she had no idea her cells were being used. Very interesting bioethical story. Narrative Medicine Club is from seven to eight and then at eight I have to go film something for work. I don't usually work outside of my typical office hours, but this is one of those things where it's only happening like at one time and it really needs to get filmed so, and I get paid for it. So I'm just gonna go over there and film that. I need chopstick, I need chopstick on too. My lips are chopped. Okay, bye guys. Good morning guys, I have crazy shower head hair but um it is 7 47 i have a yoga class at 8 a.m i was very anxious yesterday and really i've just been anxious all this week and so i need to go to yoga you know i feel like i'm getting sick and so i just need to like chillax and yoga class does that for me so i'm gonna go today there's someone coming okay bye all right you guys so i am back from my classes for the day and let me just tell you, today is just taking a turn. I am like embarrassed at how many times I had to blow my nose and sneeze in my classes today. I could literally like feel people scooting away from me. Ugh, I don't wanna be sick. I, yeah, I was gonna go straight to the library after my classes ended. It's like two right now, um, but I had to come home and take some Mucinex. I still have a lot to do, so I can't just like not do it so i'm gonna take mucinex i'm making food right now i'll show you guys i eat this meal like probably once a week it's just tofu with broccoli and rice and i put some soy sauce on there um and it's super good and not too bad for you i'm a sick maddie may but i'm excited to eat my teriyaki tofu and broccoli and rice How does that not look phenomenal? What's up guys? I feel like I know I look like I'm dying, but it's cause I am. Good morning guys. Um, so when I was filming that clip last night, my camera just died and I actually spent a really long time at the library, um, which I'm proud of myself for because I didn't think, like as soon as I sat down in the library, I was like, I'm literally gonna leave in an hour cause I feel so sick. But once I was on the grind, I just kept going and so I'm really glad that I got 
some stuff done that I really needed to get done, but um, I left the library pretty late and then I went to the drugstore and stocked up. I got some Zycam, some Dayquil and NyQuil, um, and then I was just out of like a leave, but I won't really be using that, but I got all this for being sick. I also got tissues um, because I've been using toilet paper for the past day and so I really needed tissues so that's my update I still have um, a class this morning to go to it's Friday by the way and then I have the rest of the day to myself what is up you guys so I just really have to tell you guys about yesterday it's Saturday now um, and Friday just threw me for a loop I mean so I'm not really gonna get into many details because it's not really my story to tell but yesterday was just the day like I'm surprised it wasn't Friday of Friday the 13th because it was just the day of bad luck and bad things happening so my I have three housemates okay one housemate got hit by a car while riding her bike to school yesterday so I went to the hospital around 11 o'clock with my other housemate and we were there at the hospital with her. She eventually got discharged. Her face is pretty banged up um, and she hurt her shoulder, but that's all I'm gonna say about that. When I got home, I was like, thank goodness she's okay. Now I can go study. And then my other housemate asks me to come into her room and she can't move. She, this is a different one that got in a car accident. This is a totally different person. She couldn't move. She hurt her back somehow and she literally was on the ground and she couldn't get up. And so she like, literally was crawling down the stairs because I couldn't pick her up. She needed to go to the doctor to see what was wrong. And so then we went to urgent care and they did an x-ray, blah, blah, blah. We got medicine for her. Um, they didn't really find out what was wrong with her, but they gave her some serious pain meds. Moral of the story, I didn't get home till like 10.30. And none of this is to complain because I know for a fact that my housemates and friends would do the exact same thing for me. So that's two of my housemates. My third housemate, I've come to find out later on in the day, she ran out of gas like while she was driving. So like literally something awful happened to all three of my housemates yesterday. And so I was just like waiting for something to happen to me. Um, and I'm, I'm hoping that my bad thing is that I just got sick. Friday was crazy, but now it's Saturday and I still am just like thinking about yesterday, like how crazy it was. But I'm at the library now, I'm about to go inside and study because I have no choice but to study. I have an exam early in the week next week and I wish I could just be resting, but there I have no choice but to study, so. It's my update and also the end of a week in my life. Kind of a crazy weird ending, but life is just that way sometimes. If you guys liked this video, please let me know below. I love making these videos. They're my favorite ones to make. A lot of you guys are just going through the same classes and the same um, phase of life that I am going through, so it's cool that we're going through it together. But let me know below if you guys liked this. I swear comments are like why I do this. I love talking to you guys, reading what you guys have to say, and just the whole comment section is like why I do it. I don't even care if you subscribe. <laughs> but yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you soon in my next video. Hopefully not a sick, bad luck Maddie Mae. <laughs> Bye guys.